This is a standard AC three-speed motor. You can find these in a lot of furnace blowers. Uh, this is from a, the squirrel cage style blower. And I wanted to repurpose it, so uh, I'm just going to manually wire it up. And I'm just going to go through how to actually wire this thing. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just look on the label. It should have a little wiring diagram on it. So I'll just zoom into this little diagram so you can see it. So you can see our little diagram here on the motor and it basically shows how to wire each speed individually. So white to black is high speed, white to yellow is medium speed, and white to low or white to red is low speed. So to wire this thing up, uh, I could actually just wire one speed at a time. So to do that you would just only wire, you know, say you want to only run high speed, you would only wire the you would wire your white to white neutral from the line and then you would wire your hot wire from the line to black and you'd have high speed only and you just cap your other two wires but what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, a little rotary cam switch and that way we have the option to switch through each of the speeds uh, for the project that I'm going to use this for so on my little rotary cam switch, I actually have six poles on here, and in reality I only need four poles. So the way this exact switch works is it has four positions, so off, one, two, and three. And in the off position, nothing is connected. In the first position, pin one and two is connected. Second position, pin three and four and third posi position pin 5 and 6. And I'll put a link to this little switch in the description so if you want to wire up a switch like this you'll uh, be able to buy the exact same switch. But what I'm going to do is jump uh, poles 1, 3, and 5 because in all three speeds all I'm trying to do is connect my pi power wire to the um, corresponding motor wire. So now we're jumping one to three with just a little piece of uh, 14 gauge wire that I cut off. And I'll jump one to five. And then I can tighten my terminals down. And actually, I do need to leave one terminal loose. So um, I will leave my number five terminal loose. Doesn't really matter which one you do, but you just need a way to bring your uh, actual power wire in. Or actually, sorry, your power wire from your um, from your cord. So I've got this little project box here. That I'm going to use for this project. And I've got an emergency stop switch here. That I'll wire. And I'll connect a jumper wire to the other side of my normally, um, sorry, normally closed side. Now I'm going to run the other side of my jumper to the terminal that I left loose here. And then I can go ahead and tighten that down. Which is actually number five in my case. And now I can just wire nut my neutral wires together.
And these will be your white wires, usually at least. And then going back to my wiring diagram here, um, red is low, which I want to connect on number one on my switch. So to connect the red, I'm going to connect one to two. So I'll connect my red to uh, pole number two on my switch. And again on the diagram, yellow is medium speed. So to connect medium, I need to connect number three to number four. So I'll connect the yellow to number four on here. And one thing to note, this is pretty obvious, but when you're doing this, just be 100% sure that your plug's not plugged in. And then finally, black is high. So I'll connect the um, black to number six because on level three connects pin five to pin six. And then I'll just kind of clean things up here a little bit. And the only real thing I have left to do now is ground it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll ground it to my box and then I'll ground my motor to the machine that I'll be making out of this and then I'll uh, basically just connect the two together. So the whole thing will be grounded through the frame of the machine. So for now just as this demonstration I'm not gonna ground it and I'm just gonna kinda show you how this works. So we've got our box here, we'll make sure that the e-stop is up, and then um, we'll just give it a, put it in zone one, two, three. And that's it. It's really pretty simple if you've got a switch like this. Uh, here, I'll show you the E stop just so you see how that works. But yeah, it's really pretty simple if you've got a switch like this. Uh, if you want to see what I'm going to use this motor for, make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll show you what project I end up using it for. Thanks for watching.